Hey guys, welcome back to the Buzz Weaver channel. Happy New Year. And in our top stories today from the Daily Wire, Claudine Gay resigns as Harvard president claims racial animus fueled criticism, or as I would like to think, wokeness has taken yet another blow. And of course, there's always some sort of racial component when it comes to the left or some sort of misunderstanding by everyone else when it comes to the left, because they always approach everything as though people are too dumb or too stupid to understand how they are operating, their ideology, their philosophy, and their worldview. Claudia Gay resigns as president of Harvard University on Tuesday in a letter to the university's community, as first reported by Harvard Crimson. Gay's reported resignation comes in the wake of numerous plagiarism allegations. Yes, that's one of many as well as her controversial congressional testimony on what Harvard is doing to combat anti-Semitism on campus after Hamas attack on Israel. So this was an opportunity for the left to then try to suggest that our First Amendment right to speech, right, depended on context. In other words, when Donald Trump says something, it's, uh, it's obviously inciting. But when the left says something that is despicable and anti-Semitic, well, then that's protected under the First Amendment. It's absolutely, well, I'm, I'm paraphrasing and generalizing here, but you guys get the idea. It is with a heavy heart but a deep love for Harvard that I write to share that I will be stepping down as president, Gay said in her resignation letter. Just regular, uh, f uh, f just, just fluff, fluff information. My deep sense of connection to Harvard and its people has made it all the more painful to witness the tension and division that have riven our community in recent months, weakening the bonds of trust and or weakening the bonds of trust and reciprocity that should be our source of strength and support in times of crisis. Gay continued. Well, actually, the question that was presented to her was very direct, and she just simply didn't want to answer it in a way that would be yes or no on whether or not it supported anti-Semitism or anti-Semitic language, and she just refused to say anything, which is, you know, which is what the left does. As I just said, they always presume that everyone is dumber than they are, that we just don't understand because of their great and wonderful intentions that we just don't understand that who they are, what they are, and what they represent because we're supposed to make an exception for them, right? They're supposed to get the benefit of the doubt, but everyone else doesn't get that benefit of the doubt. We know this very true when it comes to Donald Trump, and I keep saying that because he's the clearest example of wokeness and the establishment attacking someone without giving him the benefit of the doubt, due process, and the standard operations of the way our government is supposed to work in our legal system. Gay has been hit with nearly 50 allegations of plagiarism affecting eight of her 17 published works. Now, it's funny because this is all about academia, and when it comes to the intellects, you know, the ivory towers of the ivory schools, you know, intellect is everything to them. And if you do something that, especially plagiarize something, it's so funny because uh, it's, it's interesting what they're actually going after her for because they want to make this all about plagiarism and not her very anti-Semitic sort of defense of what was happening with all these protests. It's just fascinating how the coin flips, you know, and then uh, everyone wants to talk about the plagiarism. I guess this is really kind of a way to leverage their argument against her when the reality was the fact that the woman was supporting these groups of people. And as we saw in the UK and uh, in, in parts of the world and even, even here in the United States, these individuals on the left – have a certain level of fear of other individuals on the left because these protesters and these rioters or, for example, these international individuals that come to our country, I'm trying to use, you know, particular language here. So, uh, you know, they just do what they want to do. They will riot. They will burn. They will deface. They will destroy. They will attack. And the fear of that by the left is what causes them to do things like Claudine Gay has done here. Because they don't want to be shamed. They don't want to be attacked by these people, as we saw over the holidays where uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene and other Republicans were swatted again. And then, of course, uh, then there was the uh, individual, there was the one Democrat there. I think it was Chicago, I think it was, uh, that had the all-white party. Um, 
Detroit, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember the specifics of it, but she's the only Democrat that I know of in recent time that has actually been swatted also. So it's interesting how the left also still has that level of their own tension within their own uh, ilk, within their own group of people. But this is a, really, to me, in simplest terms, this is a blow to wokeness. This is another defeat of wokeness, as we saw, for example, with Buzz Weiser and Dylan Mulvaney and just the general woke ideology, philosophy, and worldview crumbling apart. And as we've always talked about, 2024 is going to be a very wild year. It is going to be, it's going to be intense as the establishment and the left and the Democrats crank up even more going after Donald Trump, going after, trying to defend, trying to protect their ideology, their philosophy, and worldview. It's going to be a very interesting ride. You guys let me know down in the comment what your thoughts are. Is woke continuing to die? Is wokeness dying around you? Are you noticing people that are engaged in wokeness falling apart, whether it's Hollywood, whether it's in the media, whether it's uh, our colleges, and, of course, businesses and companies and corporations. I'd like to know what you guys think about all that. And, of course, I hope everyone had a very happy new year. As we go into this, it's going to be a wild ride. Your guys' support is always appreciated across all of social media. Below this video, as I say, you can find the links to my various social media sites. As well as if you're a continuing or if you're an Amazon Prime user and order frequently from Amazon, by all means, please utilize uh, that link below as it helps out the channel. It's convenient for you guys. You use it as a landing page, and then, of course, I get uh, a small a small uh, little uh, fee there from that. But I do appreciate your guys' continued support. And, of course, appearing there on the screen, that would be the channel icon. You guys can click on to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as well as to select notifications. And that way, you guys will know when there's videos here on the channel. And I'll see all you guys in the next video.